YouTube, it is your boy, Zach Zyler, checking in for a brand new installment, and today, you guys, I'm going to do a type of video that I talked about doing a long time ago. Um, you guys were actually very supportive of the idea. I'm going to go through my Instagram pictures, a couple of recent ones from the past couple of weeks slash months, and I'm basically going to go through and critique my physique, um, if you guys are cool with that. So I'm going to go through, analyze a couple of my pictures, point out my weak points, strong points, um, and things I need to work on. Who knows, you guys? We're going to have fun with this. So let's get started. Here we are on my Instagram. If you guys are not following me, I may as well advertise it right now. Go to my fucking Instagram and follow me if you want to. Just kidding, you guys. You don't have to. So let's see here. Let's start with this picture right here. This was taken six days ago. A side triceps pose. Um, this was taken by a friend of mine, a very good angle. Um, the side triceps pose for me personally is always a strong point. I really like this picture because it really shows that my arms are not biceps dominant. Um, I have great bicep development, but this really like hides my biceps completely, and that's what I love about this picture. Um, it really showcases how much sheer mass I have in my triceps region. And by taking the biceps out of it, I still have great arm development, if I do say so myself. One thing I probably should have did, um, I could have did a vacuum on this picture, during this picture. And it probably would have improved the aesthetic quality of it a little bit. But, you know, that's just nitpicking quite a bit. My forearm looks good, my trap development looks pretty damn good. So, let's move on from this one. 3,000 likes on that picture, thanks you guys. Um, I'll go to this one next. Now, I don't live by a beach, you guys. I live in Michigan, so I can't be standing on a beach next to the ocean in a Speedo or anything like that. This is the best I can fucking do. Go in my backyard when it's fall. Beautiful colors in this picture. You know, it's the leaves are changing. They're falling down to the ground. And I decided to drop my jimmies and show a little bit of my physique off. And this picture... I, I really like this picture. It's reminiscent of Frank Zane very much so. That's the idea um, that I was going for. The, the physique I was trying to mimic in a way. Um, my legs look pretty damn good in this picture. Of course, you guys. Um, I could definitely go with some more mass in the leg department. But genetically, I'm never going to have gigantic legs. I think everything in this picture flows very well. Um, my V taper... I could do with some greater, or not thicker, I could do with some wider lats somewhat, um, but overall I think I have a great V taper, the vacuum was definitely on point, my arms look good, um, this picture wasn't the greatest quality, um, I think I had my phone set to selfie mode, that's why the quality on, the, on this picture wasn't the greatest, but pretty damn good, nonetheless, let's see, we'll go to like this one right here, taken three weeks ago. This picture really showcases my muscular insertions and my genetics. I have great genetics for um, upper body. If you look at my delt, my, my shoulder, it looks fucking unnatural in this picture. My chest for not having a pump in this picture looks pretty good. But you can see my insertions of my bicep and my tricep. It's just... It's ideal. You know, my bicep almost connects into my freaking forearm. In this picture, it looks like it does. Um, Padawan braid is on fleek. The, the facial expression, phenomenal. It can't get better than that. Um, this picture was taken in the mirror, so it's distorted a little bit in some places. It's not always ideal to use the mirror, you guys, to take pictures, in all honesty. But um, let's see from there. Again... I'll be quick with this one. Great fucking insertions. Um, my chest looks great in this picture. The braid, the Padawan braid looks good. I like the quality of this picture as well. Um, I think I used my actual um, actual camera for this. And it really captured some of my vascularity and stuff like that. So I like this picture. I mean, it's decent. Um, not my favorite picture of all time or anything like that. Oh, this one. And it's captioned, always fighting my genetics. And by that, you guys, I'm showcasing my, my legs. And specifically my calves. Um, this picture looks pretty good, if I say so, um, myself. My calves, they're not fucking gigantic, you know. 
it's going to be very difficult to get my calves to have the same measurement of my arms. But I really like this picture. Um, just standing outside of my back sliding door of my house. Flexing some, some legs. Um, again, I could, I could do with some more quad sweep most likely. Um, upper body, it, it looks fine. I could use more lat width in all honesty. But I really like this picture. Um, very supportive comments on this one. Let's see where we can go to next. Oh shit, this one. Taken 12 weeks ago. This picture was taken on a camping trip. And I remember I was taking a bike ride with my parents and it was raining out. Like at this exact moment, it was like sprinkling. And I took my jacket off. My dad was under his hood taking a picture for me. And I, I was like, Dad, I've got to pose on these, on these raptors here, these T-Rexes, whatever these dinosaurs are. It's too hard to tell. But I was like, Dad, I've got to mimic Chris Pratt in this picture. So I went over and I hit a bicep shot. And this picture, it looks like my arms are 20 fucking inches. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's not like I was pumped or anything like that. We were taking a bike ride. I don't know if it's because I was, I was wet, you guys. I was wet in this picture. Um, I don't know if it was the dampness or whatever of my skin, but my arm looks so fucking amazing in this picture. Um, something I'm very proud of. Let's see here. <clears throat> this one, I was a little bit pumped in this picture. I was warm. I remember coming home. I had my hoodie and sweatpants on, and I was hot under my clothing. Um, that's why a lot more vascularity is showing up. I was probably a little bit lighter in this picture. I was probably under 175 pounds. Um, you guys know my weight fluctuates up and down as well as my body fat percentages from day to day. Because I'm not actually tracking macros specifically, I'm much more of an eyeball, um, look in the mirror type of a guy. But this this picture looks great, my chest development. Um, you look at the, the caption, I say, I can't even bench press 315 pounds. Um, and it just goes to show that um, the physical look doesn't always equate to strength. Equate to strength. Um, but I really like the way this picture looks. My bicep has that nasty vascularity going on and stuff like that. And so many people were shocked by this picture. It's got 4,000 likes. Um, in the comments, they were saying, he can't bench press 315. Maybe he is natty on all this shit. But it's the truth, you guys. Um, let's see... What can we go to next? How about this one? This is a little transformation type picture before and after. Um, five years difference between these photos. This one on the left um, was taken after chemotherapy and radiation therapy were complete. Um, I want to say I weighed around 115 and 125 pounds in this left picture. I'm not 100% positive. But you can see this is an extra small American Eagle shirt and those run tight to begin with my arm could not even fill it out my chest was not filling it out whatsoever I'm not sure what size jeans I wore back then but I was just a skinny dude at this point in time um, here on the right I was not pumped at all when I took this picture um, my chest is a little bit flat looking my legs actually look really great in this picture um, if I say so myself um, my, I could use a little bit more lat width, I always say that, but shoulders look good. I don't know, this before and after picture is pretty cool in my own reckoning. I'm, I'm happy with this. Um, moving on from there, oh shit, this right here, we've got to go to it. This picture right here is probably one of the best pictures ever taken of my chest development. Um, I don't know what it is on this day, but I remember taking these pictures in my backyard on my deck. Looking at the pictures after I took them and just seeing my chest, I was like, holy crap, I've never looked this fucking full. My upper chest in this picture looks so great. Um, of course, my arms and shoulders look pretty decent too. And I'd say I was a little bit heavier in this picture. I was probably closer to 180, maybe 182 pounds. Because I'm not as lean and as dry looking as I normally look. I still have some vascularity. But I think this, I always look pretty damn good when I'm around this body fat. Because I look so full. But this picture, it just, oh my god. It's reminiscent of Arnold. 
I remember looking at this picture and thinking of Arnold's side chest poses where it looks so full. Um, that's just what this picture reminds me of um, outside on the back deck. So moving on from there, um, this was used for a thumbnail of one of my videos, I'm pretty sure. My legs look pretty decent. Everything flows pretty good. Where are my Gymshark nonsense? This right here, I can't tell. Yeah, this quality isn't as high as what it could be, but you can really see all the details and all the vascularity I had. Um, a pump is worth a thousand words. Just that quote is perfect, what I put on there. I'm not sure what I was working on this day, but my chest looks a little bit flat. My traps could be a little bit bigger, of course. But um, look at my, my hand right here. All the, the veins and stuff in there. I was dry looking in this picture. And it's weird because it's really an illusion. My vascularity gives the illusion that I'm drier than what I actually am. I drink like a gallon to two gallons of water a day. Um, I'm taking creatine right, right now. So it really requires me to be drinking a whole lot of water, you guys. So when people say I'm dry, it's more or less my vascularity giving that illusion. Um, this picture right here, one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken of myself. And I'm so pissed off because, like that other picture earlier, I took this with the selfie mode on my telephone. My telephone. With my cell phone. And I'm so mad because the quality isn't as good as what it could be. And this right here is fucking aesthetics. When I see this picture of myself, this is what I would dream to look like every single day. Um, everything just flows so well. My legs into my waist, into my V-taper of my lats, um, my arms. Everything is so complimentary of each other and I absolutely love this freaking picture I'm so mad that I don't, I don't have a higher resolution because I would probably make this my profile picture and stuff so reminiscent of the golden golden era of bodybuilding you know Frank Zane and everything and like Serge Nubre, Sergio Olivia that's who I was really trying to mimic taking advantage of my arm development and everything in this picture god I can't get over it looking at it it just it flows so well and for me, this is what I strive to look like. Um, this is the reason I got into lifting, not to sound full of myself. Um, one other thing, of course, I can use definitely use some bigger thigh muscles. And my calves could come up. My lats need to be wider. There's many different factors that need to come into play. Before that, that picture is completely perfected. But I'm a patient man and I'm willing to wait. This fucking picture, um, again, taken by another friend of mine with his gun. I love this picture. I don't know why. I'm just clicking on it for the hell of it. Um, bicep shots. This one, we can see dead ass in this picture. Um, my legs look pretty damn good after this. This was a squat session in my basement. I was doing some underwear squatting to motivate myself to get my legs a little bit bigger, but my hamstrings look pretty decent in this picture. Um, you can't see my quad sweep quite as much, but you see my glutes where they start. Um, and in all honesty, right where I am um, currently, the body fat that I'm at, I do have glute striations. Depending on the day, I actually have striations in my glutes. Not that I showcase those on YouTube because I'm not that type of a guy, but mm, I don't know. This shot, um, my arm just looked freaking gigantic. I was very carved up. Um, the caption says that sickening Easter candy pump because that's exactly what it is. My shoulder looks inhuman, my bicep and my tricep. It looks like I've got a 20 inch arm when in reality I've only got 18 inch arms. So this picture was really cool. The black and white effect made it look even better. Um, this one I said tag a friend who doesn't deadlift. And I don't know if I agree with that 100% because... Of course, back development doesn't all come from deadlifting in itself. I do so much isolation and that sort of a thing, but my the details in my back look great in all four of these pictures. I took these in my parents' bathroom. Um, my lower back has like the tree, um, Christmas tree action. My traps look great. My biceps are peaky somewhat, but I really like the way these pictures look. Um, I've got that squat bruise. That permanent squat bruise, and it won't go away on the back of my neck. And you guys will see that from time to time on my back pictures. 
Um, let's see, moving on. Going full Eminem mode in my basement. Um, chest is actually pretty flat looking in this picture. My forearms are decent looking. My traps are okay. And the facial expression, you, you just can't beat it. Um, Larry Scott. I tried doing a comparison next to Larry Scott and got my ass completely murdered. But if I had to compare my biceps genetics to anybody in the game, it would definitely be with Larry Scott. Um, he has the same exact type of shape in his bicep that I have. Um, it connects almost at the forearm, and you guys can see the comparison here. Um, so that's a guy that I really try to mimic in terms of arm development. I can't talk. Oh, here's a good one. This was taken 42 weeks ago. <laughs> Excuse me. This is to give you guys an idea about my genetics. The left picture was taken before I was going through chemotherapy, before I had cancer. Um, I was taken with a flip video camera, and you guys can see I had decent biceps for not even really working out. So that should come to show how much genetics play a role um, into working out and bodybuilding. I've gotten a lot more thickness in the chest. My abdominal region has came in tremendously. Shoulders, um, you can't really see my traps. But look at my forearm. The before and after of my forearm, I must have been doing so much fucking fapping that it's not even a joke. Um, I really like that picture. Um, going back to that. This one, again, going full Slim Shady mode with my short hair. Um, I really like the way I look in my basement right here in this exact type of lighting. My obliques are there. Um, I'm a little bit flat, but it looks good. Um, my insertions and, what, and whatnot make up for it. And I'm not quite as heavy in this picture. I think I was around 173 pounds probably. But 46 weeks ago, it's kind of hard to tell. So let me just pick maybe one or two more. Um, ooh, I, like, I love this picture. I just named it Rage. Because this was after a very hardcore back session in my basement. All the fucking details are showing up right here. My delt looks amazing, bicep, forearm, my triceps poking out a little bit, my, tr my um, development of my entire back looks so great in this picture, and I love the lighting. Um, I should be a professional photographer um, capturing stuff like this, but really like the way this came out. I, of course, need wider lats. You know, I could say that an endless number of times. And... Shit. Let's just do this one. The last one right here. People used to tell me that it would be absolutely impossible for me to fill out my frame. And that's what I wanted this picture to represent. I'm an ectomorph. Okay? I struggle to put on weight. I struggle to put on muscle. I have the fastest fucking metabolism possible. And for years, people told me I could not look like a bodybuilder because of my frame and my genetic makeup. This picture... I I don't look perfect, I mean, don't get me wrong, but for having such a narrow frame, this picture really showcases how hard I've worked to bring my deltoids up, my traps, my chest, everything just flows so well um, in this picture. Of course, I've got the stocking cap on to make it all ho hardcore and shit, but I want you guys to know that whatever genetics you have, be willing to do the work, alright? You have no idea what's possible until you try it. You have no idea. Of course, you have to be realistic with your expectations, but do not downsize what is possible. All right? So, that's probably it for right now, you guys. Ooh, I like this picture, too. The lighting on this picture. Um, that should sum it up for this video. I'll probably come through and do another one of these here pretty soon because this is fun, just sitting in front of the camera, going through my Instafram and whatnot. So... If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comments section if you would like to see more of these. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I love you all so much. Peace out. Bye.